curves and polygons, we will develop important vocabulary for basic geometrical shapes. Geometrical curves. The first thing we'll study is two-dimensional geometric curves. Now often we think of curves as something, well, maybe a girl has. But in math, geometric curves have a very specific definition. Take your pencil and paper and draw a design without lifting your pencil. It can be curvy or straight, it can be open or closed, it can cross itself or not. Once you're done, you've drawn a geometric curve. Since you drew it completely on a flat piece of paper without lifting your pencil, it's two-dimensional or drawn on a plane, and it's what we call connected. Here are three examples of geometric figures that are not curves. Why are they not curves? One type of curve is called closed. A closed curve begins and stops at the same point. It always has an inside and an outside. If it crosses itself, it may have several insides, but only one outside the curve. It may not cross itself, and then it has one inside and one outside. A simple curve does not cross itself, but it may be open or not clo or closed. Here we have four examples of simple curves and four examples of non-simple curves, sometimes called complex curves. Can you tell the difference between a simple curve and a complex curve? Simple closed curves are both simple and closed. They have both properties. They're simple because they don't cross themselves. They're closed because they start and stop at the same point so that there's an inside and an outside. You can test if it's simple and closed by thinking about pouring a bucket of paint inside the figure. The paint will spread out and fill up the inside, but it won't cross over into the outside. If it was cross itself, then the paint would only fill up one portion. But something that's simple only has one inside to fill up with paint. Here are eight geometric curves. Are there any that aren't curves? Check to make sure they're connected. Which of these are closed curves? Which of them are simple curves? And which of them are simple closed curves? Polygons. A polygon is a simple closed curve, like we just learned about, but it has to have straight sides. It can't be curvy in the English use of the word. It's usually named for the number of sides it has. For example, a triangle has three sides, like a tricycle has three wheels. A square isn't named for its side, but we could call it a quadrilateral, which literally means four sides. A pentagon means five sides. Regular pentagons have all of their sides equal and all of their angles equal. The most common that we know of are the equilateral triangle and our square. The regular polygons are the most symmetric of the geometric shapes and they're most frequently represented. If you were to go to the store and buy blocks that were in geometric shapes, they would pretty much be regular polygons. It's very difficult to purchase or to even find clip art of polygons that aren't regular. The regular ones are just more pleasing to the human eye. Here are some questions you might ask yourself about polygons. What is the minimum number of sides a polygon can have? What's the maximum number of sides a polygon can have? Can a triangle be concave? Can a square be concave? What is the name of a 12-sided polygon? How many sides does a tri triskaidecagon, or however you want to pronounce it, have? And also, I've given you a link for a polygon matching game. It's something simple that you could use with your students so they can match the name to the shape of the polygon. Notice that the majority of them are regular. Maybe you can identify the one mistake the game makes where it makes a match that might have two answers. I hope you enjoy thinking about polygons. Convex and concave polygons are two names that we can use to describe their shape. Convex polygons are puffed out, 
you can connect any two points inside the polygon with a line segment that will still stay inside the polygon. Another way to think about it is if you rolled it along, each of the sides would touch the plane or the table that you were rolling it on. Another way to think about it is if I put an elastic band around the outside, it would touch the entire outside of the polygon. Each of the angles measures inside of a convex polygon is less than 180 degrees. Now concave polygons are dented in. You can find at least two points inside the polygon where the line segment that joins them goes outside the polygon. If we put an elastic or rubber band around this polygon, it would bridge across the dented in part. At least one of the inside angles measures more than 180 degrees. Which one of these inside angles has this measure?